It's Ron Harris Aqua Today Show, and uh, I'm sitting here with a star in the making, and I say that truthfully because you you played a, a very powerful part in this play. So tell everybody who you are. Uh, well, my name is Mia Bickley. Um, I played the role of Aida in Aida. <laughs> um, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Canton, Ohio. Now, you, you had just... Uh, a big production just getting from Akron to Canton, right? Absolutely. Uh, it's a completely different, I'll say, demographic. Um, since I've worked with the Canton Players Guild for several years, um, I know everyone there. But moving just up the road to Akron, it, it shows you that it's a wider span of there's more people that you don't know that you don't know. <laughs> so it's completely new. Now, did that make it? pressure for opening night because tonight is opening night was it a lot of pressure for opening night because of that absolutely um it's pressuring because uh the fact that you know it's first major lead role that i've had um and then the fact that this is the first show of its kind um in a theater of its kind here in akron so it was pressures but at the same time i welcomed him so Elton John, that was pressure too, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's Elton John. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, now now, tell everybody, and, and, and I hope, how, how many nights are y'all here? Well, rehearsals started back January 10th, um, and it was Sunday through Thursday, 6.30 to 10.30. Tech week, it was 6.30 to 11. So, I mean, it was... It was almost every day, and then even when you were at home, practice, memorize, get your faces together, and connect with your character. Okay. Now, I know I was in the uh, kids' play when I was two, you know, for <laughs> Easter at church, and I could not remember any lines. <laughs> yeah, I, That always fascinated me how actors and actresses can remember all of those lines and all of those songs. You had some big songs in this play, too. So tell me and tell our viewers, when did you get started? How did you get started? Oh, I've been singing Disney songs and reciting Disney movies since I was this big. <laughs> so um, years it's been years. Um, ironically, my first show on a stage was Aida, and it was in Maslin at the Lions Theater, and it was with River Tree. And it's, it's very interesting, at least showing from then, you know, growing up singing Disney, first show at 14, to several years later, almost nine years later, coming back to the same show that started it off for me, it's, it's overwhelming. It's amazing. Okay, so so we're going to come see you when you're on Broadway because you're going to be on Broadway. So thanks for stopping. You want to say anything to your mom and your family? The Lord provided this opportunity for me, and I can't do anything but thank him. The people that he's put in my life for pushing me to do what I love and embrace what I love and just the support of my family. They've done it all and sacrificed so much just so that I can be unashamed to do what I do. Thank you. Okay, Star is Born. You gotta sign my book too, because <laughs> I, I wanna say I remember her win. So, Star is Born. So I'm sitting here with another of the lead characters, another star in the making. Yeah, you've been doing this since you were seven years old, right? Yes, sir. I started when I was seven years old. Um, yeah, seven years old. I took my first theater class when I was seven. Uh, I'm an only child and grandchild, so I, my mom always tried different extracurricular activities to try to get me around other children. Um, we tried sports that didn't work out. <laughs> and so uh, one summer I went to a, a theater class and I just fell in love and the rest is history. And here we are now, you know, all these years later. <laughs> okay, and t tell everybody who you are and what character you played in the play. All right, my name is Marcus Martin, and I play Rodimace in this production of Aida. Now, uh, just like I asked Mia, I, I can't remember lines or none of that, man. I always thought it was fascinating how you guys remember 
all of the lines and all of the words to the songs. It, that's a special thing to do, right? Yeah, it's actually um, at least memorizing the songs is a little bit simpler than people may um, may think. Um, it's just like when you listen to your favorite songs on the radio over and over again, and then next thing you know, you know all the words without even trying. You know, there's an original Broadway soundtrack or uh, cast album, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, for this show. So we honestly just listen to that constantly, just listening to all the songs, and then the lines is just uh, repetition. You know, just read the line and just read it, read it, read it, and then cover up the page. And it, like if, if um, me personally, I know people, uh, different actors have different methods, but if I can do it five times in a row, perfect, without looking at the page, then that's how I know I have that line memorized. And I'll do each line just like that. Now, now I'm going to ask you this. And we, we still trying to figure this one out. I don't know whether it was, I, I know it was in the first uh, scene, but it was the first time you and Mia like embraced and then the lights went out and it came back on and y'all was laying down on the ground. I was like, that is some acting there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um the the I think scene three when you and your father came out yes. and and had the confrontation and you swung at him. And we was like, did he hit him for real? <laughs> you didn't hit him for real, right? Uh, it's the magic of theater. That's all I tell you. I won't give away all the secrets, but let's just say it's the magic of theater. <laughs> we make things happen here at the theater. <laughs> okay, so th this play is not your first play, uh, no, right? Sir, How many plays have you been in? Um, this is uh, about 25-ish for me. Yeah. That's okay. And you said y'all be here again tomorrow? And is tomorrow the last show? or uh, No, actually, we're here Thursday through Sunday for the next two weeks. Um, Thursday through Sunday, of course, this week, and Thursday through Sunday next week, and then Thursday through Sunday uh, the week after that. So overall, it'll be uh, the week of February 12th through the 28th. So Sunday uh, the 28th at 2 p.m., I believe, is your last chance to see the show. Okay. You got anything to say to your family? Um, just thank you to my family for always supporting me, loving me, uh, pushing me to be the best that I can be. I love you guys, and I want to be the person I am today without you. So, and, and you got to sign my book too. Of course, yeah. You know, because just like I told Maya, when when you guys are at uh, Broadway, you know, we come into the back door and go, Marcus, dog, look, accurate, accurate today. Thanks, man. Thank you. So enjoyed, much. enjoyed it, man. It means a lot. It means oh, a lot. Thank okay. You. And we're back, and it, it is an honor to meet you, man. Tell, tell the people who you are and what character you play. My name is Nick Wagner, and I play Marib. And you are a senior mm -hmm. at Nordonia? At Norton High School. I, I got it, Norton. I was close. <laughs> now, how long have you been doing this? Uh, musicals? Um, I haven't been doing them very long. I've done plays in our uh, school theater but uh this is only my second musical so okay how did how did you get from high school to professional now uh i actually had a friend that said hey we've got um auditions coming up soon so i auditioned and got the part oh oh so this is opening opening night for you right yes it is yes it is was it terrifying uh no it was exciting i was really excited that means it's in your blood huh <laughs> You've been doing it since hello. Oh, I've been singing since I could talk. I, it's been it's been part of my life for forever. Okay. Now I know y'all getting ready to go to a cast party, so I don't want to keep you too long. Um so you want to graduate, go to college and uh degree in theater? No, I'm not going to degree in theater. I'm actually going to be uh, pursuing pharmacy as a career. So I'll be doing plays and musicals on the side, but pharmacy will be my main goal. Even if they come and get you and say, hey, man, we want you to come to New York right now, you, you're still going to do that? I don't know. I guess I'd have to be presented with that situation. So I'll keep singing, though. Keep singing forever. I will tell you this from your performance tonight. That really might happen. You know, I, I'm honored, man. I want you to sign my book, you know, go to the party, enjoy yourself. We might be back here tomorrow. All right. So, Thank you. okay, now I'm sitting here with the father. Okay, tell everybody who you are and what part you played in the play. Uh, my name's Chris Simmons, and I played Zozer. Okay. Now, how long have you been doing this? 
doing like acting? Uh, since I was in high school, my freshman year of high school, which would have been like 2001. So I've been doing it since high school. Okay. Now, uh, I talked to Marcus, you know, because we were sitting on, on this side. And when you had the father and son confrontation, and it looked like he hit you for real. And he was like, we were sitting over there going, did he hit you for real? He didn't hit you for real, did he? He did not, no. Great acting. Because we was like, it looked like he connected like Muhammad Ali did. <laughs> anyway, I know you got to go to a cast party, man. Uh, thanks for stopping by. What, what are you doing in the future after this? Um, I actually run the drama club at Nordonia High School, and so I'm currently in rehearsals there, so I go right back to directing. I'm directing Cinderella up there for the spring, so I'm going right back into that. Now, see, I knew it was a Nordonia, Nordonia there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, thanks. Thank you. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah. Now I'm sitting here with the director of the play. Tell everybody who you are. Uh, my name is Dane C.T. Leisure, and I'm the producing artistic director here at the Rubber City Shakespeare Company. And you are the founder, too? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Now, I know I read in the booklet uh, what a challenge it was for this being the first musical. Yes. How big of a challenge was it? It was huge. Um, going from plays, uh, our primary work is Shakespeare in the classics. So we usually don't have to pay rights and we don't have to usually worry about musicians and finding you know, skilled singers to be able to tackle on um, the work that a musical takes. So um, all of those were completely new things that the, the company had to face um, was finding you know, a pit orchestra um, and you know, going through, get the rights for the, for the production production um, and and really step up our game when it came to casting um, because these skill sets to do a musical are completely different than what it takes to the skill sets that it takes to do a Shakespeare play and was it was it hard to find such outstanding actors or actresses it, well, yes and no. Um, I was I was very pleased and very happy where um, a lot of um, new people came to the company to to audition and show off their talent, and that was so awesome for us. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you do different things besides your normal, like just doing Shakespeare. This is why we we jumped in and do a musical um, was to be able to widen our talent pool and also to give other people opportunities. So um, this show kind of requires very specific voices and a very specific sound um, so you have to have that rock but you have to have that gospel you have to have um, the the traditional musical theater sound as well so it was very um, we needed a wide net to be cast in order to to find the right people and I, I, I also read you got a new sound system too yes. no sound problems at all tonight oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no sound problem i was looking i said new sound system and i was i was listening and no sound awesome. problems <laughs> the, the other thing it's nine degrees outside yes. and you got a sellout on opening night mm -hmm. that's that's amazing Yes, uh, I am. I am thrilled and and so excited to have as many people as we had here tonight. And um, and for the rest of the run, we've got a lot of um, a lot of good pre-sold tickets um, for the rest of the run of the show, which goes to the twenty eighth of February. Um, so it's really exciting to to have this many people here to enjoy this musical that really isn't seen a lot in a professional production setting as well. Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow night, what time? What time show start? What time doors open? Uh, tomorrow night, show starts at 7.30. Um, doors open here at 6.30. Um, and you can purchase tickets online at rubbercityshakes.com. And, and volunteers, because we might come back tomorrow and volunteer. Yes. You, you take volunteers, right? We do, we do. We're always looking for volunteer ushers, um, and that's a great opportunity, especially if you've seen the show and you want to see it again. Um, we just need your help to, you know, make sure that people get from the downstairs front door up to the performance space here on the second floor. And and if we have room, you can go in and watch the show again and again and again. Okay, they just need to come down, come to the front, say I want to volunteer, and say I want to volunteer. If you could actually email us ahead of time, it just helps us and make sure that we don't have too many people here. Because um, after we get to a certain point, it's kind of like, well, I don't have much to do for you. <laughs> so, but yeah, absolutely. So just send us an email, um, and you can find that out on our website as well. Okay, I know you got to go. Appreciate it, man. Thank Thanks you. for letting us come oh, out. Absolutely. 
uh, we enjoyed ourselves, man. We really yeah, did, awesome. you know. So y'all come out tomorrow night and enjoy the show. Trust me, you will have a great time. We'll see you later.